Hello friends, welcome to an interesting video where I am going to import bank statement in PDF format into Excel using Power Query. So over to my screen. For demonstration, I have taken HDFC bank statement. So naturally, very first thing people try to do is that select this and right click. Now unfortunately, you cannot see any menu called copy because this bank statement is protected to be copied. So you can just see edit text. Now how to grab this in Excel? Let's see. I'm using Office 365 version of Excel which supports all these options. Not all Excel might support importing from PDF. So let's begin. So I would go to data tab then get data from file and I have from PDF. So in your Excel, this option might not be there because you may might have older version of Excel which doesn't support import of PDF. So I'll click here and let us browse the file. Okay, now you can see on the screen uh, Power Query Preview has opened. So it is scanning the PDF file. Let's wait for this. Okay. So now let's try to analyze what data it got. Okay. Multiple table it tried to extract. So let's say I think last table must contain our data. Yeah, it's containing. Now moment I will press transform data, a full fledged power query editor window would open so that we can sanitize this because remember it would not be even directly in imported format. Okay, We may have to clean up some rows, some columns or some uh, invalid data. Okay. So as you can see there is lot of garbage data. So we need to get rid of this garbage first. Okay. So now how to remove garbage rows? Now let's see in this bank statement I can see uh, narration being extended to next line. Okay. So in the next line there is just a UTR number which I am actually not really interested. So maybe we can get rid of this line. So if you see in the next line there is null. Okay, null in is the blank line. So let's instruct Power Query to remove all the rows which are having null or empty rows. So I would go here, okay, and I will say remove empty. So all remove empty rows. Okay, now you can see the garbage rows have been removed. Okay, now still we have some garbage data here. So if you carefully see column number there, which is this is this is not required okay, totally so I will click this right click and remove it and one more garbage is remaining so if you see withdrawal and deposit amounts I can see null that means empty there so I want zero instead of empty so what I can do I can select both of these columns go to transform and perform a find replace action so let me click here find replace value so find null and replace it with zero okay let's perform this okay and now the last step we need to instruct our query that what type of data is there in all the individual columns so as you can see it has detected date perfectly narration and this perfectly okay this value date it is thinking it is text but actually it's a date so I can click on this uh, box on the top right of the field and let's treat it as date and this three columns so I would select and we can say that its data type is decimal number okay so I would go to transform data type and these are having decimal number okay so I will click and make it decimal number okay, so we are done with this let me rename the sheet let's say HDFC bank ok 
okay and again i will go to home and close and load to so here you can specify in which worksheet of excel you want to import so i would say in new worksheet and i would keep this as table so let's click okay and import it okay so friends can you see this data perfectly imported friends let me make you aware of one thing so it's not necessary that all bank statement might be importable okay power query might not be able to grab data from every bank statement so it purely depends on how the structure of that bank statement is and whether power query is able to import it to a nearest tabular structure so i hope you enjoyed this video please try this and if you like it please subscribe to the excel kida youtube channel